Hey everybody, Stage Left Audio Productions, and today we're going to be bridging an amplifier. It's pretty basic. Uh, most amplifiers can be bridged, but some cannot, so you've got to really be careful which amplifier you're using. All right, let's get started. All right, looking at the back of the amplifier, we see a bunch of dip switches, and uh, right below that white box there says stereo there on the left and parallel inputs on the right we have a bridged mono dip switch that needs to be set most amplifiers have some kind of a switch it could be one of these dip switches it could be a slider switch either way we need to make sure that the amplifier is set for bridged mono operation all right now we've got the switch set over notice our dip number switch seven right there slipped over to the right indicating that we're in bridge mode and if you notice above that, switches number 4, 5, and 6 are all set for parallel mode. That's going to allow us to uh, send the signal down to another amplifier if we want to. Okay, that takes care of the back of the unit. Now on the front, we're just going to flip the power switch on. And if you notice here on the lights on the right-hand side when it comes up, the two bottom yellow ones, there, the one on the left indicates that bridge mode is on, and the one on the right indicates we're in parallel. This is really what you want to see when you turn the amplifier on. That shows it's ready to run as a bridged amplifier. Okay, and the first connection we make is from the mixing board. And that's going to go into channel 1. Remember, channel 1 only is used on an amplifier when bridging. Okay, so to make our connection using the banana plugs, it's just pretty simple. Remember, positive goes in the top red, negative goes in the bottom red. And there we have it. Okay, when bridging an amplifier, what we got to remember is we're going to be using the center two posts on the back of this amplifier. The two red posts which are positive when in stereo but when in bridging those two posts convert. The top red post is positive but that bottom red post actually becomes a negative. But on the speaker end of it you can keep them wired the same way plus one and negative one but it's very very important that you get it wired correctly on the amplifier side. If you don't, it's not going to work. Okay, bridging an amplifier with speak on is pretty easy. That's all we've got to do. And of course, we've got to make sure that that NL4 connector is wired correctly for a bridged operation. Okay, now with the lights on showing bridge in parallel mode, what you need to understand is that you only use channel 1 when setting the attenuator. You do not use channel 2. Most all amplifiers, at least current amplifiers, use channel 1. Okay, and very important to know when setting levels on the front of the amplifier, we're only going to be using channel 1. And once again, we're not setting the gain of the amplifier we're setting how sensitive the amplifier is to the input voltage. And once again, we're only using channel 1. 